This video is going to show you some of the strange things that happen as carbon dioxide changes from a solid to a gas. This is a piece of dry ice floating on the surface of the water. It's being held up by a thin layer of carbon dioxide sublimating off the surface of the dry ice. If you look directly below the dry ice, you can see bubbles forming in the water. This is carbon dioxide being absorbed into the water, making it carbonated. This is a sliver of dry ice pulsing as it changes from a solid to a gas. Below a certain size, all dry ice seems to do this when floating on water. This is a video of the same process, but slowed down to one-tenth speed. You can see the dry ice sublimating in chunks, causing the pulses of vapor. found that this was temperature dependent. If warmer water is used, the dry ice would sublimate in bigger chunks and more frequently. This piece of dry ice is floating in a shallow pan of warm water making the pulses more visible. You can see the water below the dry ice being carbonated in time with the pulses. This is one tenth speed video of the last few pulses of a small piece of dry ice floating on warm water. Most of the dry ice turned into bubbles in the water rather than a vapor on its surface. This is one tenth speed video of dry ice sublimating underwater. This is one twentieth speed video of that same piece of dry ice. You can see a bubble of carbon dioxide vapor building up around the dry ice and then shearing off as it becomes too buoyant and floating to the surface. This is one tenth speed video again. If you look along the bottom edge of the dry ice you can see the water being carbonated These carbonating bubbles also occur in small pulses, but I was unable to determine if their frequency was related to the temperature of the water. This is a closer look at the same process. The bubbles can be seen forming and then dissolving into the water.